Hi, I'm Alan Carl, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel here at worldrider.tv. Hey, this is crazy because I'm not usually standing, uh, sitting here in my home studio talking to a camera, talking to you through my camera. Because usually, for the last five summers in a row, I have been riding my motorcycle, bringing content from exotic places all over the world. But we are in challenging and certainly trying times. So I'm locked down here in my home studio, here in San Diego, talking to you through this camera, which is very unusual. Uh, but that's okay, because I've got some really cool stuff. And I'm also bringing a lot of new content from videos and other uh, stuff that I shot while I was traveling last couple summers in the former Yugoslavia countries and in the, um, uh, oh hey, look at this. Dar made an appearance. That's my cat. Ah, Dar, come here and say hello. This is Dar. She is my princess. She's a cat. She adopted me a couple years ago, and uh, she now, uh, this is her house, not mine. Anyway, <laughs> so as I was saying, some great content. I cruised around the former Yugoslavia countries and the Eastern Bloc, former Soviet states, and circumnavigated the Black Sea. So a lot of that content is being dribbled out on here to this channel. So make sure you stay Stay tuned to that. But today I'm doing something a little bit different. This is what I call a lockdown vlog or vid. And it's, um, I'm going to queue up two videos that'll follow each other. The first is actually explaining about a crazy health problem. Oh, um, well, it wasn't a problem. Let's, well, yeah, it was a problem. It was an incident, a scare. It scared the hell out of me. A couple weeks ago, late night here in my cottage, um, Something of my brain and my ears went crazy and I had to end up calling 911 and taking an ambulance ride to the local hospital. And uh, so, and then after that, I was referred to a specialist, a neurologist down in San Diego. So what I'm queuing up is, um, is a pre preamble to a webcast I did a couple weeks ago where I explained exactly what happened that night and why, this, why it scared the hell out of me. And then I fast forward to um, uh, a live kind of vlogging uh, video that I shot while visiting this crazy doctor, Dr. Ian Purcell here in San Diego. You know, when I first got to his office and the doors opened up, there was an old vintage Triumph motorcycle sitting there. And that's not the end of it. He has this crazy chair that you get strapped in like you're going into a fighter pilot uh, seat and getting ready to launch into uh, orbit. Or maybe an astronaut. Anyway, so I, I take you to the um, to the doctor's office and show you the crazy chair and some of the other cool stuff. That doctor is the coolest. As for right now, you know the update is I still have lightheadedness. A bit of um, weird uh, dizziness happens when I move my head too fast. So we are still sorting it out. I'm going to uh, uh, get an MRI of my head here next week and then after that I'll go back to that crazy doctor and hopefully he can give me a little bit more of a clue what's going on. But I guess like everybody says, it's just going to go away. I guess like this coronavirus, it's just going to go away, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. Anyway, here are the two videos bringing you a little bit of personal what's happening in my life and how I'm dealing with this. I think you're going to like it, especially that doctor. And definitely don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel here and leave me a comment and like this video, please. Tell me what you want to hear, what you want to see, and I'll skew up stuff as we keep going into our journey through the Corona times. All right, here it is, that crazy night and what happened to me and then the doctor office a couple weeks later. Uh, full disclosure. I'm going to tell you right now, this is breaking news. Not, not even my family knows this right now. I think only one, or, one person who picked me up yesterday at the hospital. That's right. I spent Saturday night in the hospital and most of yesterday. And, uh, and I'm going to tell you what happened. It's, it's very weird. I'm not 100%, but uh, at least it's not serious. Uh, I thought it was. So Saturday night, I finished a... Um, I made made a dinner and sitting sitting sipping some wine. I was watching some live music on the TV when I got up, and all of a sudden I started walking crooked. I, I couldn't walk straight. I, I had no balance. I thought, wait a minute, I've only had two or three glasses of wine, and trust me, I've had plenty more, and I can walk perfectly. 
And I, I went and sat down again. I got up again and I started walking sideways and I, I bumped into the wall and I'm like, okay, what's going on? And I said, okay, hold on. Let's lie down on the couch. So I, I took a, 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 I lie down on the couch. TV is still on and the whole room starts spinning. The TV looks like a movie projector going around. It looked like I was in the round 3D. I, the TV went from one wall to the other wall. I turned around. It's behind me. It's just the whole room is spinning and I feel like I'm in a cyclone. And I, I get up and I'm thinking, oh, my God, something's weird going on. My first thought was I'm, uh, there's an aneurysm in my brain. I'm having a stroke. Maybe it's a heart attack. It didn't have any of the symptoms of a heart attack. But I, 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 I thought I, I, I went over to grab the keys to my car. And uh, as I walked out the door, I ran into the door with my nose. And I'm like, well, I can't keep straight. I, there's no way I can drive. So uh, anyway, I, 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 I get rushed to the hospital. 911 gets me to the hospital. They, they clear me for amazing uh, speed for tests. They put me on stroke alert. Um, and I get a CAT scan. I get like three CAT scans, angiogram. Um, they take, you know, five, six vials of blood out of me. And, um, and then I proceed to, to get sick. I vomit violently. And uh, I, I'm still, you know, things aren't spinning, but it's crazy. And I'm, I'm thinking, oh, my God, I got to talk to Andrew tomorrow. What's going on? I can't I can't be here. And then especially after I got sick to the stomach, uh, the the doctor says, oh, no, you're staying here overnight. And I'm like, well, what's going on? And, uh, you know, within an hour, they had the CAT scan results. They said, you know, uh, no problem there. And they said, between your ears, there's no nothing. And I'm like, well, great. <laughs> I already knew that. You know, this is where my brain. But they said, no, you're 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 fine. And um, uh, but they wanted to put me on watch. So, you know, they they put all kinds of probes on me. I got an IV in me. They're pumping water in me. They're giving me some drugs They're giving me anti um, what, what it turns out. Uh, they think I'm, I'm having an inner ear problem, uh, something called vertigo. And, um, you know, I, I, I stayed there until about five o'clock, six o'clock yesterday, whenever you might have started receiving some notices on Facebook from me. It's about the minute I walked back in my door because I'm thinking, my God, I still can't really, you know, even playing that guitar. I was just trying to see if I had dexterity. It's it's not any, you know, I've got strength. I've got all that. It's just when I stand up too fast or if I start walking, I'm I'm not I don't feel whole confident at that. Uh, so there apparently there are these crystals in your ears and sometimes they can break loose or who knows, they can get adjusted and it, uh, causes you to go off balance. It's in your inner ear. And after all of the tests, all the diagnostics, they don't really know much about this. And they said, it's just, you know, usually it just fixes itself. You just got to, um, go away. Um, so, um, anyway, the, uh, the other good news is, okay, so Bobo's sister as well. You guys are YouTube. We got Bucharest there. So anyway, and um, thank you, Terry from New Zealand. Terry is always, I love it, Terry. You're always tuning in. That's great. So I am not 100%. I'm a little bit, you know, off. So if I, I feel a little off, you know, the, the, the good thing is, you know, in a stroke or in a problem with a, a, you know, a clot or something like this, speech slurs, you have a semi paralysis paralysis and and things like this i have none of that stuff it's just balance and it's with your ears so um anyway that's what happened to me over the uh the weekend and um i i actually kept these things you know that's my hot proving i'm not i'm not just you know making up because i'm i'm a little late getting on the cast today i am off this one you'll love this one this one they put on me to let the nurses know and they were lovely nurses this one here, it says uh, fall risk. <laughs> I guess it could be a good headband. That means, uh, you know, don't let me get up by myself. But anyway, with all that ado, I'm here with you. I'm okay. I'm healthy. I just got to get through this. Well, here I am at Dr. Purcell's uh, office. He's got a lot of photographs throughout the... Uh, the building of uh, aviation. There was even a, what we looked like as a, uh, a, you know, a flying pack of, a, you know, it looks like something out of the Jetsons. And there's one uh, in the office. So basically it's a, uh, a jet belt. You wear this thing and you fly and there's a picture of a guy over there. Now I'm, I'm told Dr. Purcell's actually been in one of these chairs. Uh, 
There's uh, a lot of Air Force, I believe Air Force, uh, in space. I see some astronauts here. Um, this, this over here, you can see the guy in the uh, jet chair of, 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 of wild, like uh, this guy's floating above his house in a chair. Look at that mustache that guy has. Anyway, I just had my eardrum uh, mobility measured by Nathan. Anna's been in here and uh, we've kind of gone through a little bit of a medical history and we've gone through uh, discussing what could be happening in the ear, the, the, the movement of the crystals, perhaps a potential virus in the in, inner ear and there's one particular nerve that uh, sometimes is symptom of, uh, of this kind of behavior, this kind of uh, incident that I've had. But uh, I'm looking forward to Dr. Purcell. There is an old Triumph motorcycle that looks like the one used in The Great Escape with uh, Steve McQueen. Um, so we've got, we've got a lot of questions for that. And I'm, um, and I'm wearing my mask because that's what's required here in this medical facility here in San Diego. Okay, Nathan's going to strap me into the chair, which is right here. It's a high-tech chair. I don't really know what it is, but maybe Nathan will explain a little bit about what's going on. Sit in here? Yep. Okay. I love it. This is Nathan. He's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, so you can grab on the handles there. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to have to grab the handle so I can't be on this thing too long, but i uh, got to keep the mask on. So I'm going to put the phone down, and uh, we're going we're gonna to go for a ride. I'm so excited about this. And uh, he's going to watch my eyes. It's something to do with eye movement, isn't it, Nathan? Yep. It's all about the eye movement. Apparently, and I'm really getting strapped in. I mean, it's tight. It's okay. It's not uncomfortable, but it's cool. There's a there's a balance little box over there. We don't know what that is, but uh, that's a balance test from NASA. It's a balance test from NASA. That's so awesome. Um, knees together. Knees together. So does this thing gyrate and move? And it only rotates. Only rotates. But it rotates on all three axes. It's a three-axis rotating chair. Can you believe this? And Dr. Purcell came up with this idea? Um, Dr. Purcell built upon it and started selling it in other countries, but not in the United States. This was invented by a doctor named Dr. Epley. Oh, it is that Dr. Epley did this one. Okay. So this is like an automatic Epley maneuver. Okay. Far out. So do I need to hold on to this? Should I get rid of this this video? Yeah. Okay. And also need your glasses as well because we need to put okay. goggles on. Oh, we're gonna put goggles on. Okay. So I gotta get off this phone. We'll come back at this very soon. Ah, the Epley Omniax chair. So cool. Okay. Let me explain what's going on right now. Nathan is fitting me with goggles. On one side of the goggles, on one eye, is a very intense macro camera lens. On the other side, it's just a piece of black cardboard. And he tells me that during all these moves to be very careful not to blink. Because what he's doing is he's actually filming and watching my eyes move as he moves that chair into many different positions. And what he's trying to do is see if my eye does an abnormal move. Now what happens is in the inner ear, there are four independent canals. In vertigo, sometimes crystals in your ear, everybody has them, will dislodge and then uh, get stuck in one of those canals. And what he's able to do by putting me into different positions is to isolate that in case that there is a crystal stuck in one of those canals, the eye is gonna move in a certain way when I'm in a certain position, and that'll clue him in as to which of those four different canals I may be having a, a crystal lodged and causing me to be out of balance or to have a crazy vertigo move like I did. So as he shifts my body around, operating that chair as if he's operating a fighter jet, he's watching my eyes very carefully. He puts me into about four to six different positions, each time telling me to be careful. Finally, after shifting me here, there, and everywhere, he brings me back to uh, brings me back to center. And he looks at the video, 
and then he calls the doctor on his walkie-talkie. And he tells the doctor that Alan's ears and his eyes seem to be normal. So I can tell that the doctor hesitates for a minute, and then she and says, let's do the test again. Except this time, I'd like you to be more aggressive with the moves. I guess you can change the speeds, the angles, and the turns. So he makes sure he checks my um, belts again, makes sure I'm locked down, and checks the, uh, puts the goggles back on, and, uh, and goes at it again. And after that test, same results. There's nothing appearing to be lodged or dislodged. No crystals are stuck in any of those four different ear canals. So, perhaps the problem is a viral infection to the nerve in the inner ear. They will have a few more tests and even an MRI of my brain, and that'll help them maybe uh, determine what's going on and give me a proper diagnosis. But for my day here at Dr. Purcell's and hanging out in the uh, Epley Omniac's chair, I would say that the uh, it was a good ride. I don't know. What do you think? Then I return back to the uh, examination room to talk about next steps. Okay, I'm back in the exam room after taking a tilting me to the left, to the right, on my back, uh, looking for contortion. They're looking, they've got a camera in the, uh, uh, on this uh, thing they put on my head that uh, measures or films my eye movements when I'm in various positions. And uh, they're looking for contortion where the eye is actually kind of um, going around or maybe spinning this way. Didn't notice much of that, but uh, here's Anna. We're gonna learn more about it soon. <laughs> So I had to go, more tests to come, but I took a little bit more of that jittery kind of time-lapse video of that cool Triumph motorcycle and the photos of Steve McQueen in Dr. Purcell's lobby. Hey, stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. I'll keep you up to date on what happens with this saga. For now, I'm not right, but I hope it will go away. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.